my party piece. I strike then from the moment when the matchstick conjures up its light, to when the brightness moves beyond its means and dies. I say the story of my life. Hi! So recently my content hasn't exactly been the most creative, exciting or original. In fact, quite the country I've kind of been dicking around in front of the camera, doing stuff like this. this. Okay. So what I thought I'd do to restore the balance is try and do something original and maybe, God forbid, a little intellectual. So, context. Simon Armitage, poet, comic and proud Yorkshireman extraordinaire. And in said book, he has a certain selection of poems called Book of Matches. Well, it was a separately released thing. Uh, that I've just got a selected poems. It's kind of like a Radiohead best of. It's good to get into it, but real fans will just look at you like you're the scourge of the earth. So in Simon Armitage's Book of Matches, he has a selection of poems that are basically based around the premise that when he was travelling, he would get to know people by sitting around the campfire and trying to tell his life story in the time it took for a match that he was holding to burn the length of his fingers without burning himself. So a fun little challenge, and I thought, you know, in the modern era of Twitter and YouTube and Google+, Plus, God forbid, why not bring a concept like this into the YouTube vlogging world? So what I've got is some matches, which I will use as the matches in the poem, and a glass full of suggestions, which I will use to choose what kind of story I try to tell. And no, this is nothing like the 7 second challenge. Disclaimer, the following YouTube challenge contains use of incendiary items, namely matches. If you're under the age of 18, please do not attempt to replicate this challenge at home, as it could result in unwarranted injury. If you're over the age of 18, please be aware that you recreate this challenge at your own discretion, and I reclaim no responsibility for any burns, scolds, or curtain-related incidents. There you go. You have been warned. Even injury lawyers for you can't save you now. Cause we can't take our eyes off the t-shirts and ties combinations Simulator Innovator Seriously, those are the stupidest song lyrics ever No one looks good in a t-shirt and a tie What I think I'm gonna do is just say I have to tell the story or describe the challenge in the length it takes for the match to go out because I don't actually fancy getting burnt and it would probably take quite a long time to burn me Right Describe a TV show you've been watching recently Right, so a TV show I've been watching recently is Great British Bake Off. I really love Great British Bake Off because it's basically a whole load of innuendos with Mary Berry and Paul Hollywood. And... This is going to be difficult. The Great British Bake Off is a British television blood sport in which Mel Perkins and Sue Perkins, I mean Sue Perkins and Mel the other one, attempt to annoy the British nation as much as they can by saying random things and then making weird strange noises when the bakers want to bake. I think it's brilliant because there's so many innuendos in it and Mary Berry and Paul I think that will have to do. This is turning into a quest of how quickly can I talk? That video coming soon. Energy drink advised. Tell us your life story. I was wondering when this one was going to come up. I was born in Birmingham to two people and Birmingham is quite a nice place. I've lived all my life pretty much I think. We haven't moved house very much. Uh, basically primary school was quite fun. I was quite cool at primary school. It was quite cool in year seven, not cool anymore. I was born in Birmingham in 1995, what an amazing time to be alive, all that rhymed, it was almost intentional. I uh, went to primary school, primary school was good. <laughs> I was born in Birmingham in 1995, went to primary school, primary school was very good in King's Heath, very diverse, very fun, lovely, lovely people. Went to secondary school, secondary school was kind of a mixed bag, which was really good. Uh, fucked around at A-levels, went to uni, decided I wanted to do student radio instead of my degree, and constantly spent my time doing that instead. I hope that kind of made some gra gram grammatical sense. There is quite a lot of smoke in my room and my head is starting to kind of hurt. Anyway, next one. The last time you were scared. When I left my laptop in Asda, I walked in by the self-service till and because I was listening to some great shoots, accidentally, you know. The last time I got scared, I left my laptop in Asda, it was by the self-service till, I was listening to headphones, I was multitasking, it was hard, I got on the bus to go to the hospital radio, and then realised I left it, and leapt off the bus and ran down Keyseth High Street, nearly making myself physically sick and embarrassing myself in front of everyone, got to Asda and finally realised that a very lovely person had rescued my laptop, it was making me the most scared I've ever been in my life, because that laptop is my entire life, it's everything I have with student radio, and more... Yeah, yeah. I think I did good. Describe your favourite album at the moment. Foles new album What Went Down is really good, when Foles play live they trash lots of things up, I like the songs and I like What Went Down, it's very good. 
Easy. Last time you couldn't stop laughing. Okay, this is this is a good one. This is a good one. The last time I couldn't stop laughing was when me and my friends had just seen Ed Sheeran from the Vicky Hills at uh, the festival. What's it called? Gotham Park. Uh, 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 Capital One. The Capital Music Festival in the park. But basically, there was a coaching gridlock outside because everyone was coming out of the festival. And we were walking down this road and there was a coach with tinted windows. And my friend, slightly under the influence of certain uh, alcohol, decided he was going to go up to the window of the coach and try and make friends with the driver and talk to him on the premise that there might be someone famous inside and that he could go in and maybe get a lift to town in a coach that was run by a VIP. It was quite funny, we couldn't stop laughing. My fingers are very close to getting burnt. Which means that this is probably a good story. Anyway. So, in the words of Wild Beasts, this is our lot. That is the end. If you enjoyed that and want me to do another one, just comment below and maybe like the video. And if you're watching Simon, I am so, so sorry. See you next time. nursing an ounce of sadness, anyone alone, don't try this on your own, it's dangerous madness.